just an additional video. Um, there is um, something additional I wanted to share. There are people that are not affected by this. Mm. And I've been thinking about it and reading some articles, scientific articles that talk about the fact that if people are not affected, it means something is blocked in the brain. And to me, I feel like that something is wrong with human. Because there are people out there, and I experienced this, you give them your best, and it just, you give them a, a decent amount, and they say, oh, it's just not doing anything. It's just, it's just not, it just kind of makes me you know, like, oh, it's kind of like, wants you to feel emotional. And then I said, fuck it. So the ego, the ego is fighting it. I feel like ego is not surrendering or there is something wrong in the brain. I have, or maybe there is something else. I, I really, uh, we can have a debate uh, and if someone is more scientific, we can talk about this. But I, I just want to say that it, it just hurts me. It, it, in a way it hurts me, not because I grew it or it's my mushroom. It could be someone else's. It could be really someone else's. Uh, but they put effort into it. And then obviously there is money involved as an exchange. You know, if it's... There is always money involved one way or another. Uh, buying this or buying, buying substrate. That's how, it, that's how the world goes. So it's not even about money, it's about the effort. So when you put some a lot of effort and the person doesn't take it, to me, to me I feel personally hurt. I feel personally hurt and I feel like maybe it's good to even distance a little bit. I may be wrong, again guys, I may be really wrong. Um, but that's how I feel because it's it's a beautiful state of mind and those that cannot experience it or reject you know the ego fights with it uh, I cannot really explain because over there you're facing the ultimate truth well your own truth I don't know about the ultimate because that's a uh, very philosophical question and the greatest minds still talk about it you find your own truth so I think that's important to to really surrender to this fact and it's and you just give it you can just do it yourself you know like I'm doing it by myself here and recording it and just will be sharing it uh, out there I don't know how many people will see it but uh, it's all about just putting putting information. It's all about just putting information out there about what it is like to have these experiences, you know. And I obviously, you know, I I, I have a resume of working corporate world, you know, navigating, you know, paying taxes, and then eventually I said, okay, I'm get, I'm just gonna be a nomad and travel. Uh, and so people may say, oh, it's a hippie thing, uh, it's because you are this and that. Well, uh, people can label anything they want. But I think when you go to nature, uh, it's important to experience something like this. I think this is the ultimate place for, for you to experience it, is in nature. Like I'm... I'm in a place where if I lay down here for a week, no, no one likely is going to find me because it's so far away. It's like way out. Uh, it's off grid. You know, there are no trails. Like there is no trail here. It's just what you see. Uh, probably traces of old trail, but 
but I haven't found any new trails like I was looking. It's not even, that doesn't even matter. What I'm saying is, it's important to do it in nature, um, little by little. You can do it by yourself if you trust yourself. You don't, if you don't trust yourself, have, do it with somebody. Somebody you trust, somebody you know, and just go for it. You'll have a good time. Some people use it as a party drug. Well, it's not about party or not. It's like, it's your perception of what it is. Because it kind of amplifies who you are. It's not just you take it and all of a sudden, yay, I want to go to the party. You will have been going to the party anyways in the first place. <laughs> so it just amplifies who you are. It just makes you a little bit more self-expressive, a little bit more uh, talkative. You just like... Okay, yes, uh, what, what, what did I want to say, what did I want to do, uh, yeah, I actually would love to see more people on it for a day, like when I see people <sighs> yawning, it's one of them, because it's um, sedative, anyways, I wanted to see more people on it, uh, just to try just to try to take them to nature and see what they say, you know, talk to them about things. It's like, you know, you, you tap into the ultimate truths of people, you know, and if people don't like you um, or decide to disconnect with you, that's good, you know, they're in your lives. Uh, yeah, some people need to be reached out individually. We're all, we're all connected, you know, like somehow somehow we're all connected it's just do you want to listen to this guy or not this guy it's all attention do you listen to someone who is great or because he invites somebody that's why the interviews work really great you have two people invite somebody who uh, is kind of a great person and uh, and then yeah it, it attracts people so I think that's a wonderful thing. That's a wonderful thing. That's all I wanted to say, really. Um, I felt like this is a peaceful moment and it's just time to say goodbye. Time for me to message some people and say, hi, how are you doing on your, how is your world doing? <laughs> Anyways. I'm um, sending you lots of love, you know, it's wonderful to be out there, it's wonderful to be alive.